So hello everybody. So uh, our, our guests just leave right now. They're just checking out. And of course, well, we need to clean this room again. So, but uh, these twins, uh, their Uncle James sending her to helping me to make up this room again. Remove the blanket and then the bed sheet. Yeah. Naya lang slowly. Be gentle. Yes. They only check in here just for one night. July, uh, all those bed sheets give to Juan so that she can. Soak that one in laundry. So there's a bad news today and you know what is the bad news so our pig for you know you saw that one in the, the video I think this is the video so anyway that the pig that we bought for the fiesta for making lechon today it's uh, I think it's a um, heart attack <laughs> I think because it's too much it's really it's not too much it's really hot here in Philippines so even a human you know it really feels so hot so how much more for the animals so I bought that one early it's because uh, I mean I bought that one in advance it's because so that we can have it already and it's uh, really not a lot of big here to buy like if you're looking for the lechon it's uh, hard to to find it so anyway so that's the reason that that we bought early but there's a really bad news today but it's not that really a big waste because uh, we butchered that one and uh, of course the rest of the meat we put in the freezer and uh, what you're gonna do it's uh, accident happen or things can happen like this but it's all good you know like we're not really so sad but a little bit <laughs> because we don't have any lechon anymore for the fiesta so the boys they're there are right now they're hung out and they're cooking for the diniguan so to those who don't know this is all the intestine of the pig the large and this, this one is the liver this is all the one that and this thing that they're gonna make it a diniguan. Che che! Ay! Tato siyang kol mo ba ko mga ganun tana? We have a fest tonight. Well, grill. Okay, you might as well have a good time. Turn bad to good. So we boiled the head of the pig nice though. <laughs> and they grilled the meat here. You want some uh, meat, love? Yeah, it's the lean. Fresh pig.
Well, it's the end of another work day here at the Casa. Another work day done. And uh, the day kind of turned out a little different. It had a twist that had a turn in it. And the twist and turn is this. <laughs> Mel bought a pig and she bought it in advance for our fiesta for have a whole lechon to roast. Well, because all the fiestas are coming off around near the same time with all these different brown guys and other events that happened, you know, uh, there was a shortage of them. So they're kind of hard to find. So she located one in advance and um, she bought it and her and the brothers have been taking care of it. I've had no part in this ordeal at all. I'm completely out on it. So it's her ordeal. They located the pig. They bought it. They did it all. And... They were keeping it over here, actually underneath some trees over here in the hall, but it is so hot. Of course, the pigs shocked. It was in a different environment than it was in before, and this heat is so bad and all. Anyway, the uh, pigs been fine each day. It was great yesterday. It was great earlier today. And uh, then earlier, I had them to go around to uh, do some stuff and, and just like no time just 20 30 minutes before the pig was just fine then all of a sudden the pig is <laughs> and they're like up oh. and they broke the news to melinda well you know that old saying there's no crying over spilt milk well there's no crying over this because it's done and there's only one thing to do jump on it asap right then and uh start cleaning that pig because it had just been there only a few minutes literally 20 minutes so the work crew just took a switch in gears and stopped construction and start butchering a pig <laughs> so it became uh pig butchering time all of a sudden out here at the job site we're having a mini Pre fiesta, <laughs> advanced fiesta. Yeah, the day took a turn. Yeah, that's uh, me and Mo. We both agree. There's no sense being upset over it. Just keep on trucking. You know, make the best of it. So they all been out here grilling, and uh, Joel he been over here grilling up over here, and the boys have been fixing up stuff out of it. And a bunch of it, we put it away to cook for fiesta. So. It's just the way it goes, man. It all works out in the end. And everybody's been having a good time. We've all been eating pork and cooking up different dishes with it. And uh, just having a good time, man. Okay. <laughs> so they did get a bunch of other form work done today there's a lot of forming and steel work to do on this project because we're making kind of beautiful and decorative at the same time but a uh, positive thing did come out is we got the uh, bottom the base for the staircase poured and the little sidewalk and all that's going to connect it let me show you so let me get around over here at a better angle so we got that poured right there it's gonna be pretty cool and where that steel sticking up is where the staircase will go up and the other parts just kind of under it uh, as I said earlier so that you know you don't have grass and things growing way down in a small low area there so for maintenance purposes we pour it out underneath there a little bit and uh, it'll be going up right on up there so at least we got that in and uh, 
and it's curing and after it cures for a few days well then we'll be able to start bending that steel and building forms up underneath and going up so uh that's all working out it's just moving right along my buddy cap he's been coming over and and hanging out and he's enjoying the garage time uh david came along today also and uh, I tell you what, us three guys, and I just continue to work, and we just talk and BS and talk about life. We're complaining one minute, and we're counting our blessings the next. You know, you know, uh, just uh, what what is that? Just uh, chewing the fat. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's nothing but a good time. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to continue out here uh, working in the garage tonight, and probably sit down here and edit. I've got my laptop down here and all and just enjoying the life and i hope that everyone's doing well out there i'm glad you all survived the solar eclipse and i'm glad you didn't uh see the horsemen come and get you and armageddon didn't start to that cheers so talking about uh the pig that uh, we butchered today it's come out it's really fun you know like yeah so my family was hung out in our uh, our crew that uh, we cooked together and we ate together so and also that is really fun you know like uh, those uh, i know that uh, that pig it is supposed to be for the fiesta it turned out you know we just <laughs> celebrate that early but um, no matter you know like we can always buy another lechon or pig for the coming fiesta but overall of that it is uh, enjoying that everybody enjoy as well and uh, I bought them the one bottle of uh, whiskey, you know, just to uh, drink together to with the diniguan, you know. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, drink that one and while they eating the diniguan. So it's just a small things, you know, that uh, everybody can share and enjoy. Hey, everybody. Well, good afternoon here from the Philippines. A very, very hot, hot day man the wind's blowing and it feels just like a blow dryer in your face doesn't it the air it's just a hot dry air coming in man Woo. there's a little white capping out there on the ocean today pretty good breeze cutting across there man but there's nothing cool about the breeze though at all and uh dave and i we rode up to city hardware earlier i didn't record nothing in there but we picked up a little bit more of that OSB plywood for some more forming on this um, deck we're building. When I say deck, I don't mean a deck like that you hang out on a deck. I mean like the slab, the second floor up above the pool of where these guest rooms are gonna be built. So my mom let me know that we need a little bit more plywood and he needs a little bit more lumber. So he headed out to get the lumber and David and I headed out to get the plywood. And while I was there, I bought some material. I'll show it in a different video another day for the ceiling up on that fourth floor room that I had the windows wrapped around. And it just has those steel purlings up there right now. I bought some material to put a ceiling in on that. And I'll, I'll show that in the upcoming video sometime in the days to come. Um, let me show you a little bit what's going on right now. It's kind of not been a whole lot to record lately because it's just kind of the same thing happened re 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 repetitively each day here um, they're basically just still doing a lot of form work um, and that that area there was a lot of beams because of the cantilever coming out for the uh, little veranda balcony just like I'm standing on up here right now and we're incorporating it in over here with this uh, CR and we're building additional beams over the top of the CR is going to be uh, a bigger beam that's going in and becoming a smaller beam around over the top of it um, we got some angles we're having to work with over here because the funny shape of this lot it being up in a corner but it's all coming together it is all coming together I also today picked up some uh, white three-quarter inch PPR pipe that we're going to be getting buried out to that cabin and get the water alive in that cabin there. Um, and we're not very far away from being able to bring that room online. We just kind of stopped right now because so much construction happening right out the back door of it. 
and getting that septic tank in. So won't be long, we'll be bringing that room online. I shifted the sidewalk, because over there where those guys are working, the path has kinda changed. So we're lining it up with the bridge now, and we gotta build some steps at the end of that bridge. And we started kinda changing the path over to that room right over there, going over to it. Uh, redirecting people out away from these coconut trees and away from where they're doing all the work right there right now. So we made that little change there on our pathway, which I can also just walk around over here by my boat and go out that big drive right there too. So that's what's happening here at the moment. It's just forming, forming, forming. Uh, we'll get up there eventually and I'm gonna show you some details on some of that forming, some of the beam work and all going on. Um, right now I've just chose to stay out of their way and uh, my guys are just on it man they come to me with what any question they have i answer it i come out and give them a little instruction and um our, a little critique every once in a while if i see something that don't look uh straight or plumb you know i'm like hey we need to change this change that and uh and sometimes they already knew it they were just still in the course of it and i just caught it before they were finished but that's what's happening here. It's just hot, dry, and we're just trying to work in the heat and get past this right here.